Hello, my name is Daryl Kwao. Time to bring you some business on Joy News Prime. We begin with Ghana's debt crisis. The Institute of Economic Affairs is calling for a comprehensive debt management strategy to help ease the country's debt service burden. The country's debt levels have surpassed the dreaded 70% debt to gross domestic product ratio mark, a situation which compelled the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank to classify Ghana as a highly debt distressed country. Ghana presently spends 56% of tax revenue to settle interest payment. Dr. John Kwache is the Director of Research at the IEA, and he says Ghana's debt may remain above the threshold for several more years to come. De uh, December, at the end of 2016, the debt level was 122.2, or 56.8% of GDP. He said that, that's what we inherited. You know, that's what they inherited. And as of June, they have taken us to 334.6 billion or 77.1% of GDP. So the opposition will subtract the two figures and say, this is what you have added on. And it is a fact. The IMF, in the last Article 4 consultation with Ghana, hmm, They've re released a report. They described Ghana as having a high risk of debt distress. That's the exact words they used. Ghana is facing a high risk of debt distress. But then they also added that they think the, the, the debt profile is manageable. But what I want to, you to understand is that in fact, it is not the debt stock itself that should be seen as a problem. The stock, in other words, whether it's three, three, four billion. Because you are not going to pay all of it today. Some have longer maturities. Because they issued euro bonds and so on. Some even have 30 year maturities. Exactly. So that debt stock, it will wait for you people, the future generations.